Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve the first exercise of the first session 2016 concerning the image given by a converging lens. The aim of this exercise is to verify that the converging lens cannot act as a magnifier unless we place the object between the optical center and the object focus F. For this, we have the following figure. We have the converging lens, its optical axis, the object AB and the object focus F. We are also given the scale. On the x-axis, each 2 cm are represented by 1 cm. On the y-axis, we have a real scale that is each 1 cm is represented by 1 cm. In the first question, we want to reproduce at the given scale the above document on the graph paper. To reproduce the figure, we draw the converging lens, its optical axis, then one centimeter graphically away from the converging lens, we draw the object AB of size one centimeter graphically, then uh, two centimeters from the converging lens, we draw the object focus F. That's how we reproduce the figure. In the second question, you have to specify on the reproduced figure the position of the image focus F prime of L. And specify means that you have to indicate and justify. In this question, we want to locate the position of the image focus F prime. If you look at the figure, we can see the object focus F. Now, F and F prime are symmetric relative to O. So if F is at two centimeters away from the lens, then F prime is also at two centimeters graphically away from the lens. So this is the position of F prime, the image focus. F prime is symmetric to F relative to O. In this part, you have to show that the focal length of the converging lens is f equal 4 centimeters. And show that means that you have to prove something is evident or true by calculation or by logical reasoning. The focal length is the distance between O and F prime, which is 2 centimeters graphically. And if we multiply by the scale, then 2 times 2 equals 4 centimeters. In this part, you have to construct the image A1, B1 of AB as given by the lens. And construct means that you have to draw and justify your drawing. <laughs> to construct the image A1, B1 of the object AB, we need two rays. The first ray starts from B and passes through O. This ray continues undeviated. The second ray starts from B and it's parallel to the optical axis. It continues passing through the image focus F prime. As you can see that the two rays cannot meet here after the lens because they are separating away from each other. So how do we draw the image? We prolongate the two rays from the other side before the lens. Notice that when we prolongate the two rays, we draw them dotted because there is no ray of light here. The intersection of the two prolongated rays is the image B1 of the object B. Then we draw the perpendicular to the optical axis to obtain the image A1 of A. Note that we also draw the image A1B1 dotted because it's not real. It's behind the lens and it is not real.
part, we want to specify the nature of the image A1B1. And again, specify means that you have to indicate and justify. The image A1B1 of the object AB is virtual. How can we justify that? The first way is by saying that the image A1B1 is behind the lens. That is, the object and the image are on the same side of the lens. The second way to justify is by saying that A1B1 is erect relative to AB. And erect means that it's not inverted. So B is above A, B1 is above A1. When the image is erect, it is virtual. The third way to justify is by saying that the rays of light, the emergent rays of light coming from B didn't meet at point B1. The prolongations of these two rays meet at B1. When the prolongation of the emergent rays meet, it means that the image form is virtual. Any one of these answers is considered correct. In this part, we have to determine the size A1B1 of the image AB. And determine means that you have to reach your answer by calculation or by logical reasoning. The size of A1B1 is 2 cm graphically. And on the y-axis, we have a real scale. It means that each 1 cm is drawn by 1 cm. So A1B1 equals 2 cm. In the second part of this exercise, the object is placed at 6 cm from the converging lens L. It was at 2 cm from the converging lens and now we moved it away. In the first question, we want to trace on a new diagram the image A2B2 of AB. And trace means that we have to draw without giving explanations. In this part, the object is placed at 6 cm from the converging lens. On the x-axis, we have a scale that each 2 cm are represented by 1 cm. We will draw the object AB at 3 cm graphically from the lens. So this is the lens and 1, 2, 3 cm. We will keep A on the optical axis and we will keep the size of AB 1 cm. Now we want to trace the image A2B2 of the object AB as given by the lens, so we will take two rays starting from B. The first ray is spread to the optical axis, it continues passing through F'. prime. The second ray that is passing through O and continues without deviation. The two rays meet at point B2. From B2, we draw perpendicular to the optical axis to find A2. A2B2 is the size of the image A2B2. We have to compare the size of A2B2 with the size of A1B1. In this part, we want to compare the size of image A2B2 to the size of the image A1B1. So we want to see if they are equal or one of them is greater than the other. And the first part, A1B1 was 2 centimeters. And let's see A2B2 in this part. So A2B2 is also 2 cm and it's drawn on the y-axis. We have a real scale, so A2B2 equals A1B1. In this part, you have to indicate the nature of the image A2B2, whether it's virtual or real. A2B2 is a real image. First, it's inverted and it's formed after the lens, and B2 is the intersection of the two emergent rays coming from B. You don't have to say all of, all of that because you don't need to justify at this point. You just have to say that A2B2 is real. In both cases, we mean when the object was placed at 6 cm from the lens and when the object was placed at 2 cm from the lens. So in both these cases, the image was greater than the object. But only when the object is placed between O and F, the lens acts as a magnifier. Justify. And justify means that you have to prove something is true. 
The lens acts as a magnifier only when it gives a magnified erect image. In the first case, when the object was placed at 2 cm from the lens, that is between O and F, it gave a magnified and erect image. In the second case, when the object was placed at 6 cm from the lens, although it gave a magnified image, but it was real. So only in the first case, when the object was placed between O and F, it gave a magnified erect image, so the lens acted as a magnifier. If you find this video useful, please share it with your grade 9 friends and I'll see you in my next video.